What's up, Solo Sportsters? We are here today at the lovely Mill River Club in Oyster Bay, New York, to look at this stunning Babolat Pure Drive 30th anniversary racket. It's got a lot of history, a lot of heritage. We're gonna take it on this court, break it down, and tell you all about it. For this play test, we decided to string up the racket with Babolat Pro Hurricane at 53 pounds. This iconic racket deserves a nostalgic string setup which takes me back to my days when I strung for Andy Roddick. Although he would string much higher at 62 pound range or more, I wanted to pair this string with the racket as an homage to an era when the racket dominated the Pro Tour as the top choice for ATP or WTA players. Babolat encapsulates 30 years of the Pure Drive racket in this limited edition anniversary set. The head size is 100 square inches with an unstrung weight of 300 grams or 10.6 ounces. The swing weight is 320, putting the balance at the 13 inch mark, making it four points head light. A very firm stiffness of 71 RA exists on this racket with an open string pattern of 1619. The standard length 27 inch racket has a variable beam of 23 by 26 by 23 millimeters with the Babolat Syntec Pro coming stock. These are your iconic and classic specs which have never changed, yet the racket cosmetic endures a nice blue with silver accent cosmetic. When it comes to the 30th anniversary Pure Drive, Babolat has kept all of the specs of the standard Pure Drive and given it this really quality cosmetic. It has really intricate inlay on the throat, lots of little details, and that classic blue that you've come to love when it comes to the Pure Drive. Now, another thing about this racket is that it builds on 30 years of tradition with that very stiff frame, that hollow beam, and something that only existed when Babolat brought this racket into the market. It's been copied by a lot of manufacturers since, but this is absolutely the original. When you think of the Pure Drive, you think of immense power, and that was absolutely the case on this racket. Whether I was crushing forehands or backhands, I was getting an extra five to 10 miles per hour on each shot. And I also loved that the surface area was 100 square inches, allowing me to get a larger sweet spot for those tough bounces on the clay or when I just didn't move my feet enough. Really liked the racket, incredibly stable, held up well, definitely your best friend when you're at the back of the court. This was a versatile racket that helped a lot in point play. I can see how the everyday player can use this to bump up a couple spots in their Sunday league or any competitive ladder that they're playing in. You're gonna get extra power on your serve with the ability to hit more kickers and sliders and have consistency on most of your shots. On the baseline, it holds you down, you feel comfortable, and there's really no shot you can't hit from the back of the court. The transition was tougher, but I think for somebody who wants the racket to do a little bit of the work for them, it's gonna be an excellent choice. Although the racket is not known for its technology, it still has several features within the racket. It starts with the HTR, or high torsional rigidity system, which is the composition layup of the hoop, making it increased and more rigid to play harder. Secondly, you have your SWX Pure Feel system, which uses cutting edge technology to filter vibration and shock in the layup of the racket. Finally is the classic of the FSI Power Technology, which is a frame string interaction system that exists with the grommets and stringing of the racket. When you put them all together, you get a rocket launcher of a racket oozing with power and feel and tech. This racket is not exactly designed for superior net use, but it certainly holds up his own. 
when you're hitting big from the baseline and you get that sitter at net, you're gonna be happy to have this in your hands. You're gonna get extra power and a little bit more pop on any of your volleys. If somebody's giving you a tricky shot, it's not as stable as some of the other rackets, but as I said before, probably intended for a player who doesn't want to come in much, but when you do come in, not the end of the world. This racket received mixed scores in our Solo Sports graded review. Anything power, spin, and baseline received high eights and nines, while all things net and feel were average as sixes and sevens. The ideal player for this racket is anyone with modern semi-western or western grips with baseliner, grinder, or counter puncher game styles and a focus on power and spin. Two-handed backhands are preferred, as well as an appreciation for a racket that plays as good as it looks. Similar rackets include the Head Instinct MP, Yonix E-Zone 100, Wilson Ultra 100, Dunlop FX 500, or Selenko Blackout 300. However, the Pure Drive not only created this category of rackets, but continues to dominate it, making it the premier choice. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you appreciate the hard work that we put into it. If you like seeing limited edition rackets, rare rackets, or things of that nature, be sure to hit that subscribe button as we have new videos coming every week.